And obviously her habitat needs some cleaning up to do. Hey y'all, hey you, welcome back to yet another YouTube video. And before we start today's video, yes, I am wearing a shirt. I know in the intro it kind of looked like I wasn't, but I most definitely promise you that I am. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm going to be making my very first video on tortoise care. More importantly, how to make a perfect Russian tortoise setup. I have a Russian tortoise named Coco. I keep looking down because I forgot to show you guys. This is Coco. She is seven years old. And obviously her habitat needs some cleaning up to do. So for today's video, that's what we're gonna actually be doing. We are going to be giving Coco's habitat a little glow up. So let's get into it. So the very first thing that you wanna do before you even start placing your tortoise into its tank is to make sure that you have all the essentials. So everything I'll be showing today will be linked in the description box down below. So you don't have to worry about finding them. Or did that work for you? So this is the very first thing that you are going to need for your Russian tortoise. It is forest floor bedding. You can get this from Petco, PetSmart. Literally any local pet store probably has this in stock. I would just call just to double check. But yeah, this is probably one of the best beddings for a Russian tortoise or any tortoise in general. It's like the perfect mix between um, dry and moist bedding. And if you guys wanted to know the brand, it is by Zumed. The next thing you're going to need is some land turtle and tortoise pellets. This is what will give them their protein and other added valuable nutrients to their diet. Along with these pellets, you might want to give them kale, romaine lettuce, iceberg lettuce, and sometimes even dandelions, but I'm not completely sure on that one. But yeah, this is the land turtle and tortoise uh, fortified pellets, and it's by the brand Zilla. I believe you could also get these from Petco. The next thing that's also really essential to a tortoise's habitat is a heated lamp. So this one is by Zumed, and this is a basking heat lamp. I believe this one was 100 or 50 watts. Actually, now I think about it, it was probably like 100 watts, but it's by the brand Zumed. You can buy these like light holders and also the bulb for under $40. The next thing you're gonna need is not really a requirement, but it will make your reptile friend a lot more happy if you were to have a uh, food bowl, food dish. This one's like made out of stone because Russian tortoises are known to live in the desert. So I wanted something a little bit more authentic and natural looking for her habitat, but this is not required. Next thing is a little hiding spot. So you can actually get this from Amazon, I believe, but it might be cheaper um, at Petco. I'll just put all the links down so you can compare. But you could literally get this for under 15 bucks. It's pretty inexpensive and affordable. And she just sleeps in there and it's really natural looking. Just made out of wood, just really basic. And last but not least, you're going to need a bathing like area, station, whatever you want to call it. Tortoises do not swim, they will drown, but they do however need water to keep themselves, um, keep themselves hydrated. So the highest that you could probably fill this up to is probably three inches or two and a half. You do not want your tortoise to drown, that is like the saddest thing ever. So just make sure that um, they can at least put their legs into the water. That is pretty much all of, that was pretty much all of the like essential stuff for a Russian tortoise, like the care for it and like the basic supplies and whatnot. So now I'm gonna get into the actual glow up, glow up <laughs> of Coco's exhibit. That's her name. I should have mentioned it in the beginning. Um, for Coco's exhibit. So I'm just gonna get started and I'm going to clear out all of the old bedding because it's just it's just gross. So you are gonna need a plastic bag to put the old bedding in or you could use a trash can. I prefer using a bag because I could just throw it into my dumpster when I'm done, but that's just personal preference. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Coco into a little container. Something like this while I clean out her tank just so she can't escape and um yeah so i'm just gonna put her in there and then start taking out all of the old bedding Ok, 
Okay, so here is the finished product. I cleaned pretty much everything and I gave her some pellets like I said I would and I also filled it up with some water. I'm pretty sure she likes the new bedding and everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope this helped you if you already own a tortoise and you don't know how to take care of it or if you're getting a tortoise and you were unsure how to take care of it and or tank set up. And yeah, I hope you found this video to be helpful and I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye!